We sat together because we were outnumbered. We had to Ah, African. I come from a small African family. You know, 56 kids. Um, <laughs> growing up in my little apartment, I started to realize why well, I'm so short. You know, there was there was no room to grow. <laughs> I'm in college now, man. Uh, anybody else in college? <laughs> no one else is in college? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> the day I took out student loans, man, is the day I gave up on life. Uh, like, I seriously gave up on life. Like, I'm at McDonald's and the lady says, that'll be 9 50 I'm just looking at her like, <laughs> add it to my student loans. Man. I don't care. Why are you telling me this? And the professors get me mad, too. You know what, professor get it mad? Because I spent $500 on a book, and the professor said we're only gonna use chapter eight. <laughs> From now on, I go in the bookstore and I rip out chapter eight, and I put it in my pocket. That's it. And the next person is screwed because all he needed was chapter eight. Uh, I'm an immigrant, I don't know if you guys noticed. I'm not illegal. All you Republicans, you guys will kick me out of here so fast. <laughs> I want to get rich. I know something. I have plenty of money. I just want to get rich so I can say Republican stuff. Like, gay people can't marry each other. Why not? They'll say things like, oh, well, why would you want to marry someone that has the same thing as you? <laughs> Trust me, old rich white man. We don't have the same thing. <laughs> don't let my height fool you. I am blessed. <laughs> My dad was supposed to be here, man. Looks like he's not. It's okay. I told him to take a cab. I told him to take a yellow taxi. I told him to bring you to Broadway Comedy Club. He called me back because the school buses wouldn't stop for him. <laughs> really, Dad? The school buses? That's who he went. He said I saw so many people in there. I thought they were waiting. <laughs> he tried to be cheap. Ah. Uh, Growing up in Africa, I started to realize a lot of different stuff about America, man. Ever since I mentioned Africa, I'm gonna say it, because I know you guys are thinking it, no, I'm not hungry. And when I am hungry, it's my choice. <laughs> it's Ramadan. Ah, <laughs> uh, like I said, man, like, when I was growing up, man, I started to notice a lot of stuff. Like, when I came to America, it's different, man. You guys have Escalade. We had Elephant. <laughs> you guys had Dodge Ram. We had Dodge A Ram. Watch out, I'm gonna move to South <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of people complaining about being black in America because I love it. You know, I was born and raised in Nairobi, Kenya. When you when you have black men say born and raised don't lie, what do you expect? Fort Lauderdale, Oklahoma. Alabama. I'm not Robbie Kenya. I'm real black. That's right. That's right, white people. I came on my own. You didn't bring me. <laughs> <laughs> See, the difference between Africa and here is what I'm starting to realize. Like in Africa, everybody's black, so you're not different. Here, when I'm black, I have perks. Believe it or not, I play basketball. <laughs> And my coach only played a certain type of people. And my dad started to realize what was going on. My dad was at my game saying, put the white kids in, my son sucks. <laughs> <laughs> my son makes the honor roll, not the finger roll. That's just how it goes. And you know, I'm, I'm scared to have kids, because I know condoms say they're 99.9% .9 effective. But I feel like I'm that 0.1%. That's me. I'm the one that's going to get a kid. And I'm thinking, if I get a kid, raise them right or whatever, you know, whatever. <laughs> there comes a time when you don't want to hang out with your parents anymore. I remember my dad time for me. I was 16. My dad put the net in the back, had the soccer cleats on. He was ready. Hey, son, you want to play? I said, nah, I think I'm going to go hang out with my friends. And when I went to go hang out with my friends, I wish I could have stayed. So I could see that tear come down his eye. And that would be like, 
And I'd just grab him the shoulder and I'd whisper and I'd say, that's where that comments on my show. <laughs> <laughs> But he is so cheap, he didn't even buy me real goggles. He bought me fucking swimming goggles. You know how stupid you look at fucking basketball guys? swimming goggles. I could just imagine them at the store. Real basketball goggles or swimming goggles? Two ninety five for the swimming goggles, ten ninety five for the goggles. Well, if the basketball court ever drowns, he'll be good. <laughs> <laughs>